gentlemen to the year 2020 you Gemini's welcome Gemini's okay Gemini's welcome to the year 2020 it's gonna be a good year for you Gemini's because it's your air sign and it is the year of the fool so you Gemini's have a new start in this year it's gonna be good it's your own energy vibration. So I want to thank each and every person who has been following me for all the years. Thank you so much. I am wishing you a wonderful new year and a new start. It's a year that is going to be changing your life. And this is going to be very, very good. In order to receive the extended of this reading, you have to connect with us so become a member of this channel and you can pick up your extended reading with a super extended um, membership okay because that's where all the extended of this your reading is going to be on there the super um, extended okay um, YouTube has changed up and this is how um, it's gonna be for the rest of the time until YouTube make all the changes. So Gemini, let's look and see what's coming up for the Geminis. In the month of January, you have the energy vibration of the year. So for you, Gemini, in the month of January, you're going to be having a new start. This is wonderful. This is beautiful, Geminis, because you are starting out your hair with an air energy and also the energy of the year that is going to give you, Gemini, a new start in all the endeavors in your life. This is a very positive energy because this is your sister energy of the Aquarians that is pushing you up and giving you a new start. This is the energy of the, the year 2020. It is uh, the year of uh, the eye princess and uh, a new start and the energy of uh, management. So a lot of you, Gemini, could be receiving higher position in your life in this year. Very wonderful energy starting off the, the, the year with uh, um, the energy of the fool. Then you have the star in the month of February, another air energy. This is looking good for you, Geminis. You're going to be very successful. Whatever the issue and the situation is, success is going to be coming up for you, Gemini, in the month of February 2020. This is good. Um, this is healing and this is also success. If you decide to do anything and make any changes, January and February is going to be good. Then we have the energy of balance, another year sign. So um, this um, um, January till uh, March is going to be good for you, um, Gemini. So uh, you, Gemini's, could be dealing with balancing out issues, conflicts, and this is going to be happening in the month of March. So you could be balancing out issues and conflicts in the month of March. So as we look at your first three months of the year, 2020, this is absolutely wonderful. To, in order to pick up the extended reading for these three months also, you have to join the channel and join by using super extended. That is where you will pick up the extended for the first three months. So you're looking good, Gemini, beginning the year 
because you have all your sign that is helping you you have the Aquarians in January in February you have the Aquarians coming back up and in March you have the Librans coming in to help you balance out issues and situation as we move forward we have the eye princess coming in which is the energy that is balancing out this year the energy of the eye princess is your spirit guides is going to be coming in and helping you out in the month of uh, april so whatever is transpiring and happening i see you connecting with uh, your spirit guides in the month of april it is a water energy so this water energy is all about you finding out stuff about yourself okay another water energy comes up the hermit whenever the eye princess and the hermit comes up together that means it's about uh, balancing out your um um uh, spiritual world so a lot of people will shift dimension from uh, the a third dimension to fourth dimension in April and May. This is your birthday month, you Gemini's, and you are having the hermit. So it's as if you're going to find yourself. It's a water energy, and it's about spirituality. The um the month of April is where the feminine side of the spirituality, the divine female, is coming in. And then in the month of May is when the masculine divine energy comes in. Another water energy is coming up and it's the energy of the moon. So for you, Geminis, the second uh, quarter of the year is emotional. And this is the time when you guys are going to be finding balance with yourself, within yourself, emotions that is going to be coming up because this is the energy of the moon so some of you could be divorced in a cancer or that sort of a situation that is coming up so secrets are coming out in the second quarter of the year so as we go back and look at these first six months from january until june um january till march is going to be good for you um april till june is going to be emotion as we look at the second half of the year we start with finding inner strength to move forward so in the month of july it's about leaving a situation behind that you were dealing with the first six months of the year moving forward on a very positive note but moving with inner power you're going to be finding your inner power to move forward you gemini's okay as we look at uh, um august is a good month for you air sign people are having august as a good month where um you yourself it is going to be your best month this is the energy of uh, um the magician this is your energy you gemini so your best one of your best month is going to be august very positive energy uh, September you have transition a water energy so something is going to be changing in your life in the month of uh, September it's an healing month uh, um, so this quarter is like bittersweet quarter because we start the quarter with fire then air and then transition so whatever is happening in August is going to make you change something in September and this is wonderful so um, that's where you first have your fire energy is in the month of July as we look at the last three months we have the Empress so whatever is transpiring this is like the um, uh, the Empress is uh, the goddess of love is coming in and she's also bringing financial stability and abundancy some of you could be buying a house selling a house buying new cars that sort of a thing coming up in october where you're going to be financial stable promotions could be coming in also as we look at the month of uh, um uh, November you have a hurt energy this earth energy is bringing balance in your life after going through some turbulence 
in um, the third quarter balance is coming in in November this is looking wonderful because whatever you got in October help you to bring balance in November this is a beautiful for you Gemini's the last energy in December is the energy of the hangman this is a water energy so you are trying to balance out situation issues in your life this is going to be good it's going to be positive it's going to be the time when you finally find your true note within yourself so you're ending the year on a positive positive note you Gemini this year for you guys it's about judgment it's about unexpected things unexpected changes coming in your life Gemini you are having to deal with new start changes that is coming up because you have the energy of judgment in this year so is it bad is it good it's up to you guys to kind of figure out what is transpiring is it is, is it going to be a good year it's all you have to take the rain to make this year what it is for you okay so let's go in and see what is affecting you so again first three months of the year is going to be brilliant for you guys so April um, and then you have uh, August is good um November is good okay so you have the first three months of the year is good for you uh you have the month of August and you have the month of October okay balance earth come in in november december you're going within okay to see um what has transpired it is a year of water for you guys so it's air and water is not that good with con um confronting with the goddess of the female okay um so let's see what is going to be transpiring in the months coming up okay so as we look at january going into february what you're dealing with you're dealing with um balancing your financial stability you're dealing with uh, um a mother figure or this could be uh, someone who is going to be helping you um this could be a mentor um but this person is going to help you to give you a new start uh, it could be a grandmother but this person whoever this person is is um, coming in your life to help you okay you could be leaving this person behind you could have been in a relationship or a business situation and um, but this person is not you're not leaving them behind and they're helping you to give you a new start whoever this person is as we look at February going into March I see an offer coming in so February going to March a offer coming in and I see that this lady that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn is going to be giving you um, a new start and an offer she's going to be helping you to open up doors of opportunity and this is looking really wonderful and positive because I see this person helping you to give you a new start as we look at the energy of the the second quarter we have the energy of the eye princess information is going to come out um, about uh, some of you um, could want to move forward but it's not helping you don't know how to move forward so it's as if someone give you the chance to move forward but it's as if you're not ready to move forward it could be that you're out house but you're still not ready to move forward so whatever it is um some of you might take the step to move forward but some of you are still trying to figuring out how to move forward and i see that is going to be coming up for you guys so, so you know let's recap because what is happening and what is transpiring ladies and gentlemen is that offers of new start is going to be coming in are you going to take it or aren't you going to take it and this is going to be the question for a lot of you because i see someone is coming up and offering you giving you an offer 
to move on and it's as if it's you know are you gonna take it are you gonna take it or not I see some of you taking this new start and and moving on but I see some of you still trying to figure out how to move on from a situation but an offer is coming in if you have a legal issue if you had some issues you were dealing with I see that you're going to be receiving help to move forward um in May your birthday month happy birthdays uh, your wishes and dreams is going to come true so whatever is transpiring for you Gemini's in May going into June your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true and again whatever the offer that you got uh, February going into March this is going to be helping you bring your wishes and dreams to fulfill and this is wonderful because I see you really moving on a positive note in your life moving forward and uh, whatever you were open and wishing for that is coming in in the month of your birthday April um, may going in the month of June as we look at um, July uh, going in August where August is your best month I see the energy of the star coming back so you guys are being blessed by your guides and universal angels because whenever the star comes in it's a blessing and this is twice the star so the star comes back in giving you a blessing moving you forward and as it, you're taking this blessing and you're really moving forward in your life and this is really good and, fun, and, and fantastic because twice the energy of the star you're really moving forward you're taking all these blessings and these helps that is coming in via your universal angels and guide. I see that in the month of August, going in September, some of you are going to find stability and balance. You could be buying a new house. Okay, some of you could be moving, buying a new house, and you're finding stability and balance August, September, because August was the month. August is your month where luck is coming up for you Gemini's and it has to do with buying a new house I see a lot of you buying a new house looking for a new apartment but you're going to be receiving it so if you and you're going to be receiving that um, house or that uh, what you were looking for what you are open for it could be a new business it could be um, a new business office it could be a new promotion but you're going to be receiving it it's like luck is on your side you Gemini in this year in the month of um, November October going in November you're going to be receiving news this is news about a promotion for most of you it's news about the promotion for most of you is a new offer coming in for work for most of you is passing an exam whatever this is it is positive alignment of energy because I see you receiving news it could be a baby that is being born okay but this is more coming up as uh, someone offering you something someone is giving you something so some of you could buy a new house and then the baby comes in afterwards in the month of October because October is looking good but it's something new is coming in your life and it has to do with materialistic stability where uh, a new property uh, a new house and uh, you got something because um, it's as if the Empress is bringing of you financial abundance your your world is looking good November going in December November is the energy of a balance and you have balanced twice so some of you have balanced twice and what does this mean is that in November going in December that's where you're kind of coming back and kind of taking in a breath breathing and bringing yourself back to balance okay because 2019 was just really all over the place for you Gemini's and now finally you're finding inner strength so some of you are going to find balance and some of you need to come back and, and and ground yourself and this is going to be good it is a beautiful year that is going to come up for you Gemini's because I am seeing like the best of the best is coming in because whoever is um some of you are going to be taking on the energy of a Capricorn but I'm seeing a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn is going to 
be coming in this person could be someone who is a grandmother it could be a mom it could be someone who just really likes you and really wants to help you that is going to give you a start and uh, this person is coming in in the month of January, February for some of you. And you're, some of you are going to get an offer in February. So it could be an offer of work. It could be an offer of uh, whatever it is that is coming in. This person is giving you a push start in this year. As we come to the last three months, um, October is looking good because I see um, some of you are really going to be buying a house. Okay. Write down these numbers. You have number 17. Uh, one and seven is eight, okay? And you have 14 and five. 14 and five. So you have five, eight, 14, and 17, okay? This is good. This is positive. It is a positive alignment of energy. I see the major arcanas which is the energy of the star, the Aquarian, and the spirit guides are going to be coming in to help you guys out with whatever is transpiring. So this is really looking beautiful for you, Gemini. It's really a year of judgment call that is coming up for you, Geminis, okay? So let's see what else is going on. And, and remember, for the extended reading to this year reading, go check out and join the channel join the channel and as you join the channel you have to choose the super super extended and then you can acquire this um extended reading so let's look at january for you peace comes and a new start so in the month of January, peace come and a new start for you, Gemini's. So whatever that was happening in 2019, in January, peace come and a new start is here for you. Okay? And, and the person that brings the peace in your world in January is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn 45 years and older. As we look at February, I see you having luck with a star. This is beautiful, wonderful, positive energy. Um, new offers is going to be coming in. So your luck is in the month of February, you Geminis. This is beautiful, 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 beautiful. As we look at March, I see you having success in March. Success with the energy of uh, success with the energy of a legal issue so whatever is happening gemini's you have the success with a legal issue you have success balancing out issues and situation that was happening in your life and this is so beautiful as we move forward we're looking so your first quarter you gemini's is going to be beautiful go check out the extended reading for the first quarter um, March, uh, January till March because it's going to be good. As we look at April, I see you dealing with, um, you ladies could be dealing with this issue where you're leaving this issue behind. You're listening to your in intuition, leaving this issue behind and moving forward. So I see that in the month of, um, uh, April, you ladies are going to be um, moving forward from an issue and a situation. It's a feminine month, the month of April, because the eye princess is here. Now, May, your birthday, you are dealing with uh, people in power for some of you. And you could be receiving an offer. Uh, some of you are dealing with... Uh, um, really prominent figures and these could be your parents and I see um you could be dealing with your parents and they're going to be helping you to open up doors of opportunities but I see you having luck with people in power also in the month of May your birthday month is looking good because your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true but I also see an offer coming up as we look at the month of June, I see communication. These communications are going to be good 
whatever in information and whatever the secret is that was kept from you this communication is going to be good because I see these are positive communication that is going to be coming to you Gemini's in the month of June so it's 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 you know it's it's really beautiful especially the first three months and you know looking at the second three months which is April going into June it's not that bad neither as we move forward and we are looking at the month of July I see the energy of some of you could be going on vacation uh, some of you could be receiving an offer that is coming in and some of you could be looking to buy a house and uh, you receive an offer or you're selling a house and you receive an offer or you're um, changing jobs and you receive an offer but it is a very positive offer that is coming in again for you guys and I see some of you taking this offer and moving forward as we look at fast energy is coming in very fast energy I see you are covered around with your wishes and dreams coming true I see um, long-term stability um, I see some of you buying a house and this is happening very quick in the month of August this is your month very quick in the month of August so whatever is happening I see it's coming in very fast this nice is coming in a, a very fast and um, that is going to be good as we look at September I see you dealing with emotion transition so you finally have that house that apartment whatever you were looking for your emotion is now being balanced out and you're coming back up to balance this is positive as there's transition in emotions okay so you could have also success um, get in the house of your dreams that you were open for in the month of September as we look at October we see you traveling in October I see news of coming from overseas and this is good I see um, and um, whatever is transpiring I see some of you could be taking a travel job but I see positive um, connection from um, out of your area where you live it could be also overseas it could be that your ship is coming in I see this could be bringing in a lot of stability financial abundance in your life then we see some jealousy but this jealousy is going to be over I see jealousy that was transpiring I see deceptiveness it is going to be over in the month of August but a little jealousy and deceptiveness this is like jealousy um this is the energy of the snake um for some of you and you gotta be aware in the month of november what is transpiring because i see a whole lot of deceptiveness and jealousy be careful if you're buying a house in this year really be careful december we see you as you draw out you're coming back to positive health this is good for you guys to end the year with ending the year clearing up karmatic issues and situation very very powerful whatever that was transpiring this is going to be a very very powerful year some of you could be receiving a news and this news is going to be beautiful it's going to be um, a very positive news um, coming in where some of you if you're studying you could um, pass your exam with I awards okay in this year so if you are studying and you're finishing off I see you passing with I honors and this is going to be good Wow ladies and gentlemen wow 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 let's look and see what animal um, is going to be coming in to help you guys okay what animals are going to be coming in to help the Gemini's to help the Gemini's in the year 2020 what animals totem is going to be coming in to help the Gemini's what animal totem is going to be coming in 
to help the Geminis, okay? I, I don't preset cards, ladies and gentlemen. Here, we have the energy of the rabbit coming in for you, Geminis. I love the rabbit. And we have the energy of the bear. So we have the rabbit and the bear. And this is just like positive message for the Geminis because Geminis are have two personalities, okay? And the rabbit and the bear comes up. So it's the soft side, but yet still you have the, the powerful side. And this is good. The rabbit and the bear is always just positive um, alignment of energy. And it is beautiful because what is happening and transpiring is that you're dealing with uh, um, the energy of uh, um, the hurt sign, okay? So this is the energy of earth. So I see the energy of the hurt is coming in. The animals of the hurt is going to be helping you Gemini's to ground, okay? I hope you can see these cards because they're so beautiful, okay? And you Gemini's are like the energy of the, um, you know, the energy of the rabbit is uh, afraid of everything, overwhelmed and frozen. So some of you might be afraid of everything and overwhelmed and um, frozen. The rabbit loves to re um, to remain remind his friends that some someday the ego will snoop down and eat him up. He talks and talks and talks about it so loud, in fact, that one day the ego ear and thank him for the great idea. The rabbit energy is alive when we are scared. So a lot of you might feel scared in this year, most often about the future. And we become our own worst enemy. We spin up and dust um, clouds of fear and then complain to others that we are lost. Notice your thoughts and words, O oh rabbit. They shape your destiny. So Gemini... Be aware. When in balance, sensitive, problem solver, good listener. Okay? When out of balance, over explaining, talk fast. To bring in balance, a day of silent is good. All right? So um, some of you will have the rabbit energies. Okay? And the beer energies, and you know, the rabbit, I love rabbits. I could never eat rabbits. I think it's just so bad when people eat rabbits. I, I, I can't, they're so cute. How can you eat them? Some of you are going to have the beer energy. This is another earth energy. And the beer energy is walking from spiritual uh, slumber, beginning anew, Okay. After a long winter, the bear arrives from deep slumber. At first, the moment and the efforts are difficult, but the bear knows it's time to awaken and move forward um, and drain the light. The bear card represents an individual on the cups of a new direction and a personal transformation. The initial weeks and months of this um, spiritual quests may felt tricky, cumbersome, and full of obstacles, but you have no choice. Bear winter rants the warmth of spring energy and your transformation begins. So remember, judgment is also transformation. Um, the December is going to be a transformation. When in balance, you have inner strength yawning to grow. Um, when out of balance, you're withdrawn and let through. And to bring in balance, you need moments and exercise. So if you notice, a lot of you Geminis are always exercising is for a reason. It's because you want to bring balance in your life. Let's see what is coming up for you Gemini. It is the number one energy. It is vitalized. So this year's is really the year of the, um, um, judgment. It's about vitalizing your spiritual needs. It's about vitalizing who you are as a person. And this is going to be very, very beautiful for you guys. Okay, vitalization. It's going to be beautiful. 
Um, then the other energy that we have is the energy vibration of the year for you guys. And ooh, 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 and it is you walking away from something. So you Geminis are going to be walking away from something in your life and going on a new journey. So you're ending something in your life in this year. This year is about new beginning. This year is about you making changes in your life and you're walking away um, from something that no longer serving you into something that is much better for you. So it's about vitalizing yourself, your energy, you, you as a person, and leaving things that no longer serve you. Archangel Zatkiel comes up ecstasy. Ecstasy. So in this year, Gemini, just call upon the universal angels and ask them for ecstasy. Ask them to in, 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 um, infuse ecstasy in your life. Positive energy. And this is going to be good. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to wish you, Gemini, a wonderful year. Remember, for the extended of this reading, you have to join my channel and choose for the super chat because that's where you're going to be receiving all the extending, all the perks that you can um, make an online um, appointment with me. I want to say to you, Gemini, from my heart to your heart, I'm wishing you a wonderful new year. Namaste. Mm -hmm.